Hey everyone, it's Microwave Sam. I'll show you how to use Rufus, which is a program to create bootable USB drives the easy way. So, Rufus is just another alternative, and we're going to use it for a new USB bootable flash drive of Windows 8.1 that I will also show the installation of. And then you can see rufus.akeo.ie is the website. I'll leave it in the description. It says that it's at about twice as fast as some of the alternatives that I've been using. And you can go to download last updated version, click on it. Currently it's Rufus 1.4.6. And you can just get the latest version by clicking on the downloadable link. Now the system requirement is a Windows XP computer or later. So Mac users, I'm sorry. Now you just click the executable file. There's no installation, it's just an executable file that opens up the program. You can check for updates, I'll just press yes, but I already know that I have the latest version. And now Rufus pops up. Now over here, you want to first input your USB flash drive. I took a second to check on the Windows 8.1 that I was downloading at the time. And after you push your USB flash drive in, it'll pop up. I'm using the 16 gig flash drive that I just used for the Ubuntu tutorial. And you can just leave everything default. Now I'll just check it over. File system seems okay. Partition scheme and cluster size seem alright. I'll just rename this to Windows 8.1. And I have quick format check. Now make sure that your USB flash drive is one that does not have anything important on it. You just want to back up anything important from that USB flash drive because we'll be deleting the whole thing entirely. Okay, so now here are the settings zoomed in so that you can see. And let's add the file. My Windows 8.1 download has finished. And now you just want to click on the ISO button and then select the Windows 8.1. You can just create a bootable disk using an ISO image. And then press start OK. Basically what happens is once you select the ISO image, it will change all the, um, what's it called, all the settings, yeah. So file system change, cluster size change, partition scheme change once I selected the ISO which was Windows 8.1 and it also changed the name so now what it will do is copying ISO files basically onto the flash drive Windows 8.1 is approximately 3 gigabytes for 64-bit version and it will take a while now Rufus says it's twice as fast but it takes about like 15 to 20 minutes to make this ISO file onto the USB flash drive, so it'll take a while, so I'll just skip ahead. Okay, so now I am back. Rufus 1.4.6 is done. It says done at the bottom left. It'll give you a prompt. And you can just close it. I'll just go to my start menu, this PC. Right click on the USB flash drive and eject it safely. And then pull out my USB flash drive out of my computer. And then go on to installing it on a computer to show you that it works properly. Okay, so booting up my computer, you can see I'll have to change my uh, boot device options, basically the boot order. I pressed F2 or F10, I forget. Um, it's usually just F10, I'm assuming, and then or F8. Then you can go to system configuration, and then you can go to boot options, then go to boot order, and then put the USB flash drive as the top of the boot order, so that the USB flash drive boots before your local 
hard drive. So boot order, bring the USB diskette on key slash USB hard disk all the way to the top. And that's F5 for me. Uh, no, actually it's F6, yeah. Then you can just press F10 to save changes. Oops. F10, save and exit. Yes. And now I'll boot on to Windows 8.1. Now when I turn on the computer, it'll just boot up to you uh, Windows 8.1 bootable disk. I'll have to press a button, a key, to boot from USB. So now Windows 8.1 logo pops up. And now I'll start setting it up. I was meaning to install Windows 8.1 on this laptop anyway. Just takes a couple seconds to load up. You'll see the customary setup file. And Rufus works pretty well. I'll say Rufus, very good program, 100%. Takes a little while to actually set up the USB. But what's important is that it works. And it does work. I'll recommend it. You install now. Set was is installing, and it's just a typical setup, you'll see. Nothing special here. So, accept the license agreement, license terms, no bugs so far, custom install, and I'll show you the final result to really just speed it up. Now, see, Windows 8.1 on this computer just installed it. We'll check the desktop. See everything's good? You have a new Windows 8.1. So thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully this solved your problem. Rufus, I'd recommend it.